There is a figure in American Indian myths that represents this power of the dynamic of the total psyche to overthrow programs. This is the, the negative aspect, and it's called a trickster. Uh, it's a very, very important figure in American Indian mythologies. In, uh, in the East, in the forest lands of the Northeast and uh, Southeast, it's uh, the great hare, a rabbit. Uh, when you go west of the Mississippi in the Plains lands, it's coyote. You get up in the Northwest coast, <coughs> and it's raven. These are smart, clever birds and animals. Now, it's a great puzzler to well-trained Christians to come across the trickster hero, because he's both a kind of devil and fool and the creator of the world. And uh, so he comes in as an upsetting factor. He breaks through. He, he even breaks through the notion of what a deity ought to be. And uh, this, I think, is about as good an example as you can find anywhere of the trickster hero. Now, that trickster trait turns up in uh, deities like Yahweh. Yahweh's a trickster. He lets people build a building, and then because it gets to be to three stories high, he uh, afraid it's going to wreck heaven, and he comes down and, and, and floods the world. That's a trickster stunt. That's a ridiculous act. And uh, we think it quite normal for, for a deity to behave that way. If a human being behaved that way, we'd send him to a lunatic asylum. And here you have the deity coming through as the, as the trickster, as the destroyer, as the disruptor of programs. Yahweh's full of this kind of thing. Well, uh, the coyote stories are, are, are really great. There's a rather amusing one. Oh, well, to start, I suppose the most um, important myth uh, associated with this uh, trickster <coughs> is that of the flood. Uh, the American Indian uh, floods, uh, the story will start with all the animals on, uh, on a raft with old man, who is a humanized aspect of coyote, among them. And uh, he sends a, uh, after a certain time, he sends a diving animal down, a muskrat or a diving bird or a loon or something like that, to get a little piece of mud out of the water and bring it up. Now this, this motif we find in American Indian stories of the, the diver who brings up the mud and then old man takes it and puts it on the water and makes some uh, magic and, and the, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then he sends a, a fox or something to run around the world and see if it's big enough and on the third or fourth time it's big enough and, and there we are. Now in this uh, theme of the uh, old man on the raft uh, appears in Siberia Northern Siberia among the Chukchi or uh, the Finns even, and the uh, Laps, most people in the north, the uh, shadow of God is this negative figure. And the deity sends a diver down, this is known as the earth diver motif, and he comes up with a little bit of mud, but he doesn't give it all to the deity. And after the deity has put the mud down and made a perfectly orderly world, then this other one spits out the rest of the mud, and that makes mountains and difficulties and everything of that kind. 